This is what it sounds like when they open a sluice gate of a dam. And it's very, very loud. A warm welcome to the channel, Sunday the 27th of February 2022. The title, Free Gorges Dam Look With No Water and A Worker's Life at the Dam. Now, jumping straight into this without any ado, just have a look at this picture I found. Now, obviously this picture is quite old, but is this the front of the dam or is this the back of the dam? I think it's the back before the reservoir was flooded. And I think it's one of these rare pictures to find that it's like, whoa, there is the actual back of the dam. Now, I could be totally wrong and I would just love your opinion. So there we go. That's what the Free Gorge Dam looks like with no water. It would look a lot better if it wasn't there at all. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the life of a worker at the Free Gorge Dam. Obviously, it's a 24-7 operation because water, obviously, again, is a 24-7 operation. But I did have a girlfriend who, a long time ago, who was a worker in a state-owned company. So the people, let's just call this an office worker at the Free Gorges Corporation at the dam. What do you think their life is like? Well, let's find out right now. Here we go. Good morning all. Well, they would wake up like normal people and possibly about 6.30, I could imagine, because they would have to be at work by 8.30. And after the normal daily routine of stretching, feeling that you don't want to work, obviously you're going to take a quick shower. I would say that would be quite common as well. And then eventually you wouldn't have to drive to work. Oh, no, 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 no. Let this government, let the state take care of you. And they would supply a bus to all the workers. So you don't even have to, uh, you could be incredibly drunk the night before. Then you would get onto a bus that would take you to the free gorges or the office. And what would you do then? Would you work? No, of course not. You would have a spot of breakfast, of course, free of charge. Let the state take care of you. And then eventually you possibly would get to your office round about 8.30. And what would you do? Would you work? Of course not. You would read the newspaper if you were an office manager, for example, or you would watch a little bit of TV or you chat with your friends until eventually you say, I should do a little bit of work. And that work comes around 8.30 to 11.30, discussing meetings, making a cup of tea, um, doing minimal work as possible, talking the talk, but no walking the walk. What happens at 11.30? Well, it's lunchtime. Lunchtime is for two hours, a two hour lunch break. 1.30, sorry, 11.30 to 1.30. And during that lunch break, you would have obviously something to eat, free in the staff canteen but then you would go to sleep now i apologize for the picture here but in the office they would have a bed or a bedroom for you and your colleagues where you could have a sleep for an hour or so and you would get back to the office round about 1 30 and there you would work until 4 30. And that's it, no longer than 4.30, there is no overtime. You do the minimal work possible because it's near enough impossible to get fired. What do you do at 4.30? You can take the bus and the bus would take you to the shopping center or take you back to the original place. And that is your day. And that is a working day of a state, someone who works for the state, and that is the free gorges dam people, the work people who work normal, regular business hours. Then you can be at home 
and you can do absolutely nothing for the rest of the day. And this is only Monday to Friday. The benefits are so colossal. The salary is low, but you can easily afford a house because you work for the state and you're not going to get fired. Now, one of my favorite moments when making this video happened earlier this year, and I just had to show you this. This came from the video called The Black Swan Disaster and the beginning looks like this. I really enjoyed making this bit. A very good day, and here we are, live at the Free Gorges Dam. My name is James, and today we're going to explore. I think someone opened one of these sluices. Joking aside, let's have a look at the levels for today. Kutan, Chongqing, 660 kilometers west of the actual Free Gorges Dam, has gone up again at 169.90. The Free Gorges Reservoir has gone down by, last time we looked, maybe about 30 centimeters. So very slowly at 169.44, that's gone down. And the inflow and the outflow a little bit uneven compared to yesterday, 7,800 in and 9,310 is going out. I haven't done this for a while and just going to see what's happening on YouTube related to the Free Gorges. And one person said, Free Gorges Dam overwhelmed, massive inflow, water upstream. Okay. And Free Gorges Dam collapsed, flooding strikes the dam can't dodge in 2022 and one more i got here is free gorges dam collapse free gorges free gorges free gorges they put in there so why don't we take a look at the musical weather of the free gorges it looks like this Woohoo! was a video getting close to about 18 months ago of what would happen if the Free Gorges was overwhelmed and it collapsed. And this is the original video. Now, what happened with this one? You can type in these words on this picture here and you can just go there directly. This was a simulation from 2020 by Chinese scientists possibly working at the dam because they were really worried that because of the heavy floods of 2020, it would happen. You can copy this, you can download it. There's no copyright license on it, but to be fair to the owners of this, just go to their website directly. And this was amazing and very shocking as well when this came out. Now, what is happening in the Ukraine is an absolute horrible thing. Whatever the reason, I'm not going into it, but I am going to go into this awful gentleman here. And he is one of the people on YouTube who is an American guy, but he says everything in the world is America's fault. Everything in the world is America's fault. So I actually sent him a message with one of his latest videos and I said, Whatever the story, just pray for the regular folk who get caught up in this mess. I thought it was a, a nice point of view, whatever the reason. Now, his reply, obvious this is a huge tragedy, even if it's an absolute necessity. That's all I'm going to read, an absolute necessity. An absolute necessity. It is not, dear Brian, an absolute necessity and that just shows your character i'm going to name and shame you because that is an awful saying an absolute necessity i replied back absolute necessity question mark oh my goodness really i really i feel sorry for you then killing people 
absolute necessity. I don't have words. So do watch out for these kind of characters because that is their character there. Evil. And the people they like is Putin and she. Possibly even rocket boy, fat boy, um, North leader, North Korea leader, dictator. Just awful people. Okay, one more bit of advertising on this show. It means I don't really have a lot of information about the Free Gorges, but it's a Sunday special. Why not? This is... Now, if you want to see some of my other videos, yes, it is advertising again. All you need to do, basically, is go to the playlist, which is there, click it on my channel, and there, if you want to see about the free gorgets, all you need to do is go there. And I think on this video as well, I get wet. Do I get wet? I don't know. Let's have a look. Yes, I get wet again. What a brilliant video that is. That brings us to a close for today. Thank you so much always for your time, something I can never give back to you. Sunday the 27th of February 2022. Do please share this video, do like this video. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Instagram occasionally and Facebook. All the links are at the beginning. Oh, not at the beginning. All the links are in the description. And if you go to my homepage, you can just click the link there as well. And I will wish you peace and happiness. And again, prayers for the people who are in a mess due to certain people in the world. And one of them is Brian. Thank you. Be good. Be well. Be safe. Bye-bye.